Assalamualaikum Dr. Seri and all my friend How are you all today? I hope you all doing well Okay, straight forward to our presentation Our term, term, our term paper talk about poverty Sorry, my name is Muhammad Yassi Kuzairi bin Muhammad Yazid Okay Poverty Tesis statement our, our group said Poverty generally not a choice Why we said like that? Because we believe Majority people in this world or especially in Malaysia doesn't give it a adequate opportunity to rise out from poverty. Okay, why we say like that? Okay, look first. Education. Poor education. Okay, why education is very very important to rise out from poverty. Okay, example, in my workplace, when I ask my engineer or my station head, I ask them, where all they come from? They all be answer. They all come from uh, overseas or local university like uh, UTM or uh, UKM. So, obviously, we all know these people get a good education since childhood. Okay, be uh, only education can offer a better salary and good position in company, right? So, how about those who doesn't give get a good education? How about them? I believe only good can change their fate. Maybe their parent can uh, doesn't have a money uh, or an, another problem. So how about them? Who doesn't get a good education? Okay. Look. Example in rural area in Sabah, Sarawak, there are so many different school. There are so many problem that uh, network transportation go uh, when to go to school. So but but Their parents in the area doesn't give up to encourage their children to always go to school. Always, always talk to them, uh, give a support because their parents believe only a good education can change their fate in future. Okay, or rise up them from poverty. Like uh, in my tell, like uh, Van der Vert said in 2008 in my article, in my term paper, term paper, sorry. He said, education is one of the way to overcome of poverty. And I agree with that statement. I agree, a good education will give someone a better, better opportunity to rise out poverty. Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Akmal bin Akasha. Based on my group term paper about poverty. And we choose title, poverty is a choice. And we disagree. My main point about how critical illness and health problem will lead to poverty. At first, I state that disability and health problem can reduce their capability to do a work, and this uh, will lead to poverty. They also can lost a job or hard to find suitable job. I also give example of how much money spent to treat a kidney failure. It show that the middle and lower class uh, social will use most of their money just to treat their illness. And lastly, I give example at United States of America uh, that have expensive. Okay. And in a reference article state that they use 35% of their income on their healthcare. That's all from me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay. Next, I would like to elaborate our next point of poverty which is mental illness okay i believe that uh, mental illness disease also can cause poverty uh, as you know uh, mental illness are health condition of a person involving their emotions thinking and behavior okay like diabetes and heart disease uh, i think mental illness are actually treatable because we can see that person or individual with mental illness still continue their daily life like usual uh, this is because uh, they get a uh, proper 
monitor and guide from people around them uh, and I also see that uh, people with serious mental illness without proper guide mostly they live in chronic poverty because they cannot think how to improve their standard living the standard standard of living uh, based on a website uh, that I see from Canadian Medical Canadian Mental Health Association they say that uh, people with serious mental illness face many barriers over their lifetime including stigma and discrimination which can prevent them from securing educate education and employment so because of this stigma and discrimination uh, this mental illness uh, patient uh, they cannot get a proper uh, what we call a proper education and proper job I believe that uh, they also get a chance uh, with a proper guide and monitor they get a chance to live in a better life okay, uh, that's all for me thank you Assalamualaikum I would like to give my main point 3 of internet instability internet instability will affect the numbers of poverty so I agree for that statement I would like to give the some example of the stable country first. So I choose the Malaysia. Malaysia it is a stable country. So as we know that now Malaysia facing the pandemic COVID-19 and economic crisis. So because of the pandemic COVID-19, Malaysia have announced MCO. MCO is a movement control order. So because of the MCO, uh, too many people are affected uh, they cannot go to the work or easily do the business activity to earn the money because of that problem the Malaysian government has announced to uh, give some incentive to help them to buy food one marriage family in the Malaysia will get around 1,600 ringgit from the middle class and the low class people in the Malaysia will get that amount 1,600 ringgit we can say that the stable country is a very very important either the country that have internet instability so if the country that have the internet instability like the country that are facing from the world such as Afghanistan, Iraq or Libya we can say that the government cannot manage their people properly so their the, their people cannot have the food to eat or cannot get a job so that if that country or the stable condition maybe the government uh, can help their own people out from the poverty so that's all for my presentation uh, and thank you everyone bye bye i will pass to my friend hello uh, my name is muhammad and today I will represent my group members to conclude our term paper on the topic poverty is not a choice. So, in the nutshell, our group has come to a solid conclusion that poverty is indeed not a choice. For us, if poverty is in fact really a choice, we strongly believe that no one in their straight mind would choose to become poor. And after taking all points into consideration, um, just like before presentation, we can see clearly that there are many things besides low level of income, uh, such as um, education system, poor education system, chronic health, war physical and mental disabilities are also the reason and actually the most missed reason behind poverty and we also strongly believe that this is not something that can be take or can be faced alone this requires a, 
a group or political figure to change the system so that it can help uh, and benefit us because if only an individual will try to change this system and I think we can't do it and with that I and my team strongly believe that poverty by any means is not a choice thank you for listening